Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be unboxing the uh, April Allure Beauty Box. So this month, I don't even know what color bag we got this month. So Allure is a monthly subscription. It costs us $15 a month. And I think you get six, seven, um, deluxe to full-size beauty items in here. To me, Allure Beauty Box is always worth what you pay. Okay. Well, okay. So, first thing is, we got a card. Or not a card. They are actually pamphlets. Like a little book. Tell us about our stuff. And process and stuff. But we're not even going to look at it. Okay, then it says you're going to want you're going to want to see this. We're giving you an exclusive sneak peek at all of our favorite brands coming up in the May scratch off to reveal. Now, do we want to ruin the surprise or not? These things are too hard to scratch. Well, my cat just knocked my lipsticks off. Okay, so this month we actually did get a clear bag. Now, let me see. It is ripped. Um, uh, most of my bags has been ripped ever since I started this back in January, February. Okay, so let's just start with the first thing we can pull out. And it's the Vita Phenomenal up to 10 days from one of vacation organic tan infused cloth for your face body two times nine milliliters okay these are I'm not gonna open these but these are tanning uh, cloths you uh, rub it on your skin but we're not gonna open this we're gonna save it to when it really matters because this white girl probably could use a tan even a fake one. I don't tan too good. Some years, I can have a really good tan, which will not be like, any, to me, it's a good tan, but I can never get like a tan tan like everybody else. Always wanted that, but where I'm fair-skinned and freckled and stuff, I do not tan that good. I, have, I used to go to the tanning bed, and I would burn so bad that it would be funny. I laid like three minutes in one bed um one time and i roasted by the time i went in 30 minutes i couldn't move okay so our next thing is by natasha denona and it is a eyeshadow and it is 2.5 grams which is zero i mean point zero eight ounces which just looks like a pretty and it feels pretty good now, I don't have nothing by Natasha and Denona, um, because, you know, it's hot. I can't afford it, so we stick with mostly, sometimes we get to get some good stuff, but most of my makeup is drugstore, but I'm fine with that, because the drugstore has, like, really stepped up their game, but sometimes I do order, like, I ordered the Jeffree Star palette, and I ordered some other palettes, so I'm fine with it. Ooh. And it is in the color. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It might be one two six K a bud. I don't but it is such a pretty shimmery brown and it's very smooth ooh look there one swipe that went far ooh it's man that just like goes on forever okay maybe this eyeshadow is worth the buy cause that is like lens out oh my god that's like the best eyeshadow I've ever seen not really, but it is one of the best eyeshadows that I have ever had. And I really like the case. 
So it is very durable to be a single shadow. And it's very dur durable. You can throw it in your bag. You don't even have to worry about it getting broke. Okay. So our next thing is by Brio Geo. And it is the Fair Rare Frizz. Which now I wear Brio Geo every day of my life anymore. I didn't used to use like hair products. But like I get these like every other month. And I'm like stocked up on these. And so anymore I just been like uh, after I wash my hair and stuff when I get out of the bathtub. Um, I put a little bit of this in where I've got like natural curly hair. And it's harder to comb after you washing conditioner and stuff. So I do use this every day to help. Like detangle my hair and maybe help my hair get strength or something. I don't know. But I am going to give this to my husband because he has like bad, he has always complained about frizz. So I think I'm going to be a nice person and I'm going to give this to him. Okay. So our next thing is by Laura Geller. It is incredible waterproof gel eyeliner pencil. I'm glad it's a gel because I have like got so many like Ipsy. I got a felt pen and yes oh yes I got one. Boxy charm I got a brown uh pencil and now this is and then I bought two um for another video I done by Rimble. So, let's check this. Ooh. And this ain't black. Hey, I'm glad. This is in the color Ultraviolet. It's like a very, like, dark purple. Kind of like a brownish purple. I like that. I can see myself using it on my lower line. Maybe wing it out. Because uh, it is a gel liner. And I can also see myself, like, smudging it on the eyes. Lids. Alright, so, hey, I'm happy with that. There for a minute, I was like, not another black liner this month. I try not to look at my boxes, so this is why I don't know what's in it. Um, I don't want to look, because when I um, open my boxes, I want to be surprised um, when I open it or do it on camera. Okay, so... Our next thing is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a liquid lipstick and it is in the color Pure Hollywood. Now I have like one of her palettes. I have the Modern Renaissance. I used to wear it all the time, never touch it anymore. Okay, so this is it. Now, this is, would make a good nude lip. Put a little liner on. It's going to look weird. I'm going to try it on, but... So, right there it is. And let me grab a mirror. But I think this would look better with a liner. I had another lipstick on. Or, ooh. That is going to look better with a liner. Okay. Ooh, there for a minute. You can't even tell I got lips on. Okay. So, this is a very nude lip. It matches mm, almost my skin color. Hmm. Or my foundation color. But this would look good with a eyeliner. And I'll probably try to line it when I'm done. 
but I do like that. Okay, and the last item is from one of my favorite brushes, say it, or Lux, it's from Luxie, and it is the Luxie 231 Small Tapering Bird Blending Brush. Love Luxie brushes, they're like, they make some of the best brushes I've ever used. So, I know, I will get a lot of use out of this guy right here. Okay, so let's rate our box. Let me see. Let me find everything. Okay, well, let's go over the process. I like that. I have so much stuff on my vanity that it's not funny. Sorry, kitty. Okay, so I don't even know what I've done with my paint. Oh, here it is. Right in front of my face. If it had been a snake, it would have bit me. Okay, so. Our first item, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, is retailed at $20. It's right here. So, the Natasha Denona is... Retailed at twenty seven. Okay, so it's twenty seven for one, but I do know her palettes are sometimes around two hundred dollars, so I'll take that. Okay, so the Luxie brush is retailed at twelve dollars. I believe that because I've got a lot of these brushes, and then the um, Laura Geller. Uh, violet um, pencil is $22 and then $25 um, for a pack of 8 or $39 for a pack of 16 and you can buy these at Ulta now I don't know how good I might try them out and see if they do work or not and the last item that we got was the Brio Geo, and it is, and I'm going to say a full size is $24. This is a sample size. So, you know, and let me see. These three right here are full size, and you can get two. You're supposed to be able to use one of these for your body to get a tan. We'll see. But, um... You know, these, so you, we know we got like three full size. Now, this being a single, but it is retailed at $27. So, I mean, it covered your box or the lipstick covered your box and gave you an extra $5. But I am so happy with this box. If I was going to give it a um, five out of five or it'd be seven so a seven out of seven i'd give it a seven out of seven i'd give it a ten okay this is a ten box okay so i guess that is it um i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more unboxings and makeup videos and some haul videos but I will see you guys later. Bye.